Hi, I'm Dave McCormick for Alpha Software, and recently I had the privilege of speaking with Robin Bennett, director of Start Software, a development shop in the UK. We spoke over Skype, and I had a chance to ask him about how Alpha 5 has been able to help his business get ahead. Here are some of the highlights of our conversation. Can you briefly describe your background and the business that you've built around Microsoft Access? Yeah, sure. Um, I've been in IT for uh, professionally for uh, about 25 years, I guess. Um, I started off working for a very big company over here, working my way through from being a, a mainframe programmer right through to being a PC developer, project manager, and then IT manager. And then about 10 years ago, I started my own business, primarily using Microsoft Access as the development platform. Um, and over the last 10 years, we've built a really successful development company here where Access has been the, um, the main development tool that we've used. We've used VB, we've used uh, a few web technologies, but Access has been the, the main product that's, um, that's been the building block of our business. Now, can you describe the reason you decided to take a look at Alpha 5 V11? Yeah, the, um, I've had an eye on Alpha for a long time. The, the one part... Uh, the one aspect of access that really hasn't done it for us um, has been its ability to deliver applications to the web. Um, we've used a number of tools and techniques, a number of components in VB apps mainly, um, but we've also tried some of the, the access technologies to do that. For us, just SharePoint and access together just wasn't really, um, wasn't cutting it for our clients. And when we looked at the functionality that we could deliver using uh, those technologies, it really wasn't doing it for us either. So, it, you know, that access really... Had, had run out of ideas for us in the web area and Alpha's really opened up a, um, a whole new set of ideas for us. It is. What we've found is that because on the, the website Alpha is very strong at uh, enabling you to build functional, really functional web systems, database systems without programming, it's been quite a straightforward migration for us in that, in that we haven't had to invest hugely in learning the um, the ex-basic programming side of Alpha in, say, in comparison to VBA and Access. So most of our guys have got productive very quickly by just going down the, uh, the route of following the non-programming um, sort of method that, that Alpha has. And in fact, it's, it's, it really is extraordinary what you can deliver in Alpha without any programming at all. It's also meant that our junior developers, the guys that in Access perhaps would be coding limited VBA, perhaps some macro work, but mainly in the sort of forms and uh, query side of Access, in Alpha they've got productive really quickly just by the um, through the property dialogues that Alpha gives you, the, the sort of the non-programming side of, of the development. Another strength of Alpha that we've discovered is that although you can c build systems without programming, uh, there is nothing hidden from you. If you're experienced in CSS, experienced in HTML, if you understand uh, JSON and AJAX and those sort of underlying technologies, then you can get um, at the raw code, the raw JavaScript, if you want to, which enables you to influence how the systems operate. For example, one of our other systems that we've just built is a system for uh, a charity that helps uh, deaf children in Africa and collects a lot of data about those children. And the, the charity sponsoring companies use the web to gain access to see the impact that their that their money is um, you know is giving to these deaf children um, so most of our applications in the last few years have had a web component um, what alpha has enabled us to do though is is make the the web components to our applications much richer much more functional much more like a traditional desktop database application with uh, with powerful searching with good reporting tools um, and that sort of uh, you know the sort of Ajax side the the interactive side was very difficult for us before and it wasn't something that we were able to offer through access especially as most of our customers don't want to have SharePoint and um, with what you know access really is pushing you now towards an access SharePoint solution if you want to go on the web so it, it's really extended the nature of the applications that we can develop it's enabled us to offer a different sort of application um, to our customers much more easily than we were able to before. But yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It works very well against Access back-end databases. It works very well against SQL Server back-end databases. Most of our applications are SQL Server these days. Uh, so I, I would most definitely recommend it to others.